Now, like a lot of us that jump on YouTube, we're always trying to find something, something informative, something that sparks our interest, something that's entertaining. A lot of the times I'll try and find inspiration in a personality or someone that has life experience that's similar to my own, or I'm at a certain precipice in my own life where I, I need some guidance. And sometimes I feel that the guidance that I get from a lot of people is, is that sound that actually helps propel me to the next phase in my life, uh, whether it be just this a stepping stone to get to the next goal or a, it helps to really solidify a, a solid foundation in the, whatever it is that I need to do to um, carry on with a task overall. So for me personally, I've jumped online, I've looked for a quote and I've gone with back to basics with strengthen your foundations. Um, and this is kind of where I'm at currently with my life uh, once again, going back to basics. Most recently, my mother has passed away. And that's been only a short passage of time since that actually happened. And now is the time to just continue to grow, continue to walk the path of life. And we all will experience this when we lose a loved one. And at the same time, when that happens, the passage of time seems to be the only real cure for those or these situations and we all experience it differently it's been difficult i must admit and i you know i don't have answers for you other than you're you're not alone in whatever journey it is but when i put it into context with this going back to basics with strengthening your foundations you find that the person in particular that you may have lost or those around you that have driven you throughout your life at different stages whether it be when you were a teenager you had an uncle or an auntie or a parent or a, a friend of yours that helped you know get you through some tough times or they gave you a, 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 a complete stranger may have given you a life lesson or your first job you actually got some really good advice from your boss to be able to propel your career a tutor for the school that you've been at has been able to give you the fundamental basics to actually propel yourself in the real world these are what the fundamental basics that are going to constantly pop up throughout your life at any given time and it's really important that you learn some of these at an early age to help propel you through life to help have that safety net for you when you know your life uh, becomes disarrayed to the point where you feel like you've got no control and as highly traumatic as a situation such as the death of a loved one is it completely derails everything that you've been doing in your life up to that moment so how do we find our way again we tend to find it through our our foundations in life, how we were brought up, the type of people we met, the type of influences outside of our families and friends that have helped ground us and create the personality or the people that we are to be able to cope and also be there for others going through the similar situation as well and being able to step up to the plate and take control when it's necessary. I've been very fortunate throughout my life to have created decisions for myself that isn't based too much on the opinions of others especially when it comes to jobs like a lot of people i've worked in factories i've worked in hospitality as a bartender i have worked in industries packing motor oil in a in a production line in a factory i have i've been in a the, in a sales role for and installation role for gym equipment and i'm currently working in mental health uh, as a support worker along with actually working in a gym as well <laughs> doing sales and, and giving people advice with regards to you know training for their own quality of life as well so as you can see there's a there's a lot i've had my hand in a lot of different industries overall which has really propelled the way that i've been able to kind of blend in with a lot of people or a lot of different demographics i guess you could say um that's shaped me the fear the person that i am but the one major consistent uh, thing that has been there for me as ridiculous as it may sound with regards to the context of the video and what I've been explaining is the gym and training now for a lot of people going to the gym and exercising is almost like going to church for most people on a Sunday whilst I don't understand religion to the extent that some people may online I, I highly respect how how grounded it must make people feel every week to be able to feel as though they're connected to something gives them the foundation and the fundamental basics to get through another week of their lives now 
With regards to training, it is like that for a lot of people as well that want to take care of their health and well-being. And you'll find, like many other things in life, whether they uh, you know be photography uh, or video editing, uh, there, there's there's fundamental basics with exercise as well. There's biomechanics of the way the body should be moving with specific exercises and how you tailor those movements to work for your biomechanics and your body will determine the success and the ongoing growth, um, those both physically and mentally, but also the confidence and being able to use those fundamentals to progressively evolve with different exercises as your you know fitness journey grows overall. So whilst I've used the gym as going back to your basics will strengthen your foundations, your life and your the evolution of of you is primarily based on how strong your foundations were earlier on throughout the beginning of your life. Because right now you'll find that as much as life tends to derail everything that you believe is right in your life and you feel that there is no direction, a derailed train can be put on the, on the tracks again to propel itself forward to the horizon to get to, its, to your next destination. The whole crux of the video is, is to, to really take a step back for yourself and begin to realize that a lot of what you have learned throughout this crisis is still there. It's being able to really center yourself and acknowledge those fundamentals in your life and, and the basic moments because a lot of things are happening in frames right now. Your, your body and your mind is recording everything and is becoming so dense that it still needs to realize that the earth is still spinning. People are still going to work. The sun will rise and set on another day. But going back to basics is not taking a step back. It's really resetting yourself for the next step in your evolution overall.